Dude. Hi, Nathan. How's it going? Welcome to our Thanks for having us. Hey! Yeah. So Kim, you need to unmute. Have... Kim, unmute. Unmute, Kim. Unmute. Welcome to IBM TV. And yeah. uh, good morning from America. It's so good wonderful. To you. We're so excited. We're so excited to hear everything that you have to share with the kids today. Thank you for doing yeah. this. Absolutely. Are we live right now? Yes, we are. Yeah. And it's your morning and our afternoon. My and evening. And his evening. Day. And his evening. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So now yeah. we're in of positivity right now and we're not really good with the technical side of things so we might miss out on a few beats and button pressing and getting our songs playing but we're going to try our best okay that's I hope all right you, I hope you can hear us. <laughs> certainly that's all right yeah we're, we'll but, get it going yeah. that you Should know we what we found is the world has been very very flexible and forgiving because they're so used to their phones, right? So the phones kind of go in and out sometimes. So we found that during this time, launching TV, uh, even the networks, they we're all having a little technical difficulty, but we're going to give it our best shot and teach the kids that persistence is the way we execute, right? Yeah. And we'll get it right because we always look for the bright side of life. Right. <laughs> we're going to press the button now. We're going to see and what happens. And I want to thank Rosie and Isabella for their wonderful, wonderful show uh, before this. And uh, let's get going with what you guys have. All so right. Here we go. Uh -oh. Go and get. and Rosie in South Africa. Do you know how we say hello in South African languages? We've got Mulweni, Sani Bonani, Khweda, and hello. So we're very excited to have you here today. And we've got a few shows and videos that we're gonna try and show you, but it might take a while. Thank goodness I have the best sidekick in the world, this dude. 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 Dude, aren't you excited to meet our new guys and friends? Well, to be honest, I'm a little down. But why? Well, you know, it's not called lock up. It's called lock down. Oh, what have you drawn? Huh. It's just a guy. Well, I can see why he's feeling sad. He's drawn a rather miserable looking man. But you know what? If you just turn things around, boom, you can change your outlook in life in a second. Have a look now. What do you see? No way. It's like a happy guy with a monobrow. A happy guy, and he's a little bit bald too. But we like bald men and women and people. <laughs> I've never met a bald woman, but I'm sure they exist. And they're beautiful. Totally. So, what can you tell me about your new happy face? How does this one make you feel? It makes me feel pretty good. Yeah. So are you saying that you can just turn things around whenever you want? Do you have to turn it upside down? Like let's say you have like a rainstorm and it's cold and it's dark and it's wet. And it's beautiful and it's raining on the ground and the plants are starting to grow and the rivers are flowing and it's just magical. Yeah. You can just change things if you choose to look on the bright side of life, right? Right. I think I'm going to try to draw happier things. 
that are going to make me happy. That's a brilliant idea, dude. <laughs> You're amazing. And you can do that too. You know, if you're feeling a little bit glum or under the weather, you can start doodling and drawing pictures that make you feel good inside. And when you look at the rainbow on your page, you can feel all the beautiful colors just brightening up your day. <sighs> wow, you're filled with positivity. Oh yeah, I love it. And it's so exciting and I get to choose it. It's my choice, I'm in charge. Just like all you guys. Every single one of you are in charge of the way you feel and the things that you want from this world. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, well that reminds me. Have you guys got all your crayons and pens and paper ready to doodle with? I know, in case you haven't got it ready, why don't you sing us a little song and we'll go get our doodling stationery ready so we can start doodling. You have something cool up our sleeve for you. So you don't need to go get anything fancy at all. You just need the bare necessities. Hey, I have a song about that. Well, it's not mine. A bear usually sings it, but I'm kind of like a bear in certain circles. <laughs> all right. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Now when you pick a pawpaw or a prickly pear and you want to draw draw, then you need a pen. But you don't need to use a claw. When you pick a pen, then you're ready to draw. But something else about drawing, cause that's my favorite topic. <laughs> Dude, that was so awesome. Thanks, I kind of made it up. Look, it was really, really brilliant. See, see what you can do when you just try, try a little harder. <laughs> now we're going to try and get some technical things working while I tell you more about what we're about to do. So dude over here is really, really good at drawing everything and anything. And he has a very special talent to draw things with shapes. So I hope you've taken out your writing or drawing pads and you've got your crayons ready because we're gonna take you through a short little story of how to doodle a very special animal from South Africa. What animal is it? Well, you're going to have to wait and see. Oh. Yeah. All right. And we're gonna go on to a lovely adventure into Africa and meet a whole variety of animals in the series to come. But today, we've got this special guy. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
I see that, did any of you get to a chance to start doodling? In case we went a little bit too fast for you, we will show it to you again a little bit later. I love rhinos, don't you? Oh, hello, Leo. Moeni yeah. Mawazi. Donna awesome. wants to say hi. Hey, Donna. So great to have you with us today. So now we're going to go into storytelling time and we're going to have an exciting story about a couple of rhinos. I'm so excited. So am I. Right. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Fantastical creatures await us in Africa. I hope you remember to bring your camera because we're about to meet the wildest critters. Some might even give you the kisses. A bunch of man eating, veggie snacking beasts with delightful stories for all to feast. Don't forget to do your pictures while we share their stories. They'll have you in stitches. Some are quirky and totally misjudged, but please don't hold a grudge. Just join us on our adventures that are wild and free, learning all about the animals that we meet. These critters that live under the African sun have found a place in my heart, one by one. Renata and Rupert the Rhinos. I'm Renata. And I'm Rupert. The unidentical twins. They live in Africa where the story begins. Trotting around looking strong with prestige. We belong to the Animal, Animal National African League. Dressed in their esteemed plated armors, they look like the greatest of war partners. Look at our powerful, long pointy swords. Known as our very own Rhino Horde. There is a problem they both seem to share. It has nothing to do with not having any hair. We both suffer from very poor eyesight. At times, we can quite easily fight. Instead of running into the distance, we charge the noise without any resistance. With our large horns aimed at our foes, we bash them down with our pointy knives. I've noticed they are both shy and sensitive. Like an old couple, they are very inquisitive. Yeah. It's because of our sensitive ears and noses. Mm -hmm. We are always ready for those who impose us. That's right. I must warn you, it is such a crazy sight. When these two huge animals take a fight, they will ferociously charge full steam ahead. And if you don't scramble, you could be dead. We are often asked in half a stitch how to tell which one is which. Oh. Renata is black with a pointed upper lip. While Rupert is white with a rather square tip. These two war veterans bring to mind their fame across the whole of mankind. They protected under the crew of the So please respect them. You and me. <laughs> I just love Rupert. I think rhinos in general, man. Yeah. Rhinos are so cool. They are so Do amazing. Do you have any interesting facts to show us or tell us? I know a few things about rhinos. Did you know that rhino actually means nose? No. And saros, so rhinoceros, means horn. So actually we should call them nose horns. Nose horns. That's why when people get plastic surgery on their nose and they get a nose job, it's called rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty, I didn't know that one. Yeah, you got a little something in your rhino. <laughs> Did you hear that? Who's that uh, little girl next to us? Oh, hey, is that your baby? Hey, Rebecca, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? We are so good and we're so excited that you're with us. I can see you've got all your art behind you. We ones are from Kirby Critters. Ooh, we're going to start talking about those very soon. But we just had a knock on the door. Do you mind if, do you, mind if you can go answer for us? I'll get it. Dude's just going to go and answer quickly. How are you doing? How is lockdown treating you? 
it's hard, but I mean, art's keeping me busy, so it's really fun. Yeah. Okay. And if you've been, you've been drawing an awful lot. Yeah, it's been really and cool. You're an artist, I have to say. Yeah, I got an outfit for um, my birthday, so I've been drawing um, like chalk, um, chalk pictures, which are really cool. So, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Well, we've got a friend that's coming through the door now. Can we introduce him quickly? Yeah, sure. Hey, it's Artie, the art bark. Hey, hey, Artie. Hello, Cam. I'm so excited to be on your show on IBM TV. We love having you. What adventures have you been on lately? Well, I just got back from the Louvre in France. Oh, and, and what did you see there? Well, I have to critique a very famous painting. Yes? It's called the Mona Lisa. Of course, the Mona Lisa. It's one of the most famous pieces of art in the whole world. But as you know, I'm a very strict art critic. He is. He's very strict. I found the Mona Lisa a little bit boring. I thought they could have given her a fringe. Oh. Or as they say in America, bang. <laughs> well, then I don't think she would be the Mona Lisa anymore. Yes, she'd be far prettier. Far prettier. <laughs> so, we've just had some stunning doodles come in during our Kruger Critter story. Oh. And they are all rhinos. And I thought I would show Artie some of them, and you, and you could tell us what you think of these beautiful pieces of art. So this first one has been doodled by Tristan. Can you see? Oh, oh my goodness. What do you think, Arthur? Well, to give my professional art fark opinion, I have to say, what a wonderful use of shapes. Look at the body of the rhino. It's so round. He's a plump one. He's so beautiful, and he has a square head. How oh, wonderful! He absolutely loves your doodle, Tristan. Well done. It's beautiful. It's far better than the Mona Lisa. Wow. Look at those colors, green and blue. Oh, those colors together make turquoise, which is one of my favorites. OK, OK, let's try another one. Tristan, you rock. Thank you for sharing your beautiful artwork with us. Next. We have Michaela. She's four years old and all the way from South Africa. Look at this. Oh, 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 no. I am mesmerized by the colors. The colors are so perfect. Oh, Michaela, are you watching? You are a true artist. My goodness gracious me. I have never seen the use of color so well used since. Picasso himself. I agree. All those colors and lines, and it's such a beautiful rhino. Thank you so much, Michaela. Okay, we've got one last one to look at. I am excited. Look at this beauty. Oh my greatness. I have never seen a rhino so perfectly formed with a pencil and colored pencils. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, the shape. Look how the horns are different sizes and match the background of the trees, which are also different shapes and sizes. Oh, and the sun going down in the background. It's so beautiful. It really, really is. And did you see they use the banana shapes for their horns, just like Dude taught us? That is the perfect shape for a horn, a banana shape. So, would you like to know who doodled this rhino? I have to meet this artist. Well, it's not even a question. I must meet them right away. Give me their phone number. Okay, okay, hold on. Don't get so excited. We happen to have her with us. <gasps> Rebecca Brownell Jones. She's the artist of this beautiful rhino. Rebecca, Hi, who drew this perfect rhino? Yes, thanks. I'm your first fan. Oh, I'm going to yeah. faint. 
Let's say, no, 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 keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. There we go. There we go. He just gets really excited when he sees such beautiful art. So why don't you tell us, Bex, what is it about drawing and coloring in and painting that makes you feel joy inside? It's that I love doing it and that I can have, I can do it whenever I like now that we're in lockdown. I have so much time to do it. So I can do it after school and I, yeah, I have millions of ideas what I can do for art and it's really, really fun. Yeah. You have nothing stopping you either because you have the most beautiful imagination and you bring everything to life that you have stored up inside you. And don't yeah. you think every child is able to do it? Yeah, I think everyone can draw. Some people say they can't draw. Well, it just takes practice and you can make a masterpiece. Exactly. And what's beautiful about art is that nothing's ever wrong. Yeah, um, art is never wrong. You can draw in anything. You can draw whatever you want and it can never be wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Um, do you have some questions? Could you even make an orange rhino or even a rainbow colored rhino? Yeah, sure. It would look even more interesting that way. That's ingenious. Rebecca, you are an artist ahead of your time. I have one question. I heard that she drew an Nguni cow. And I yeah. believe it's beautiful. Will you please show us what it looks like? I want the yeah. whole world and all the children around the globe to see what they can do too. Is that not beautiful, everybody? How magical! Amazing! Amazing! Oh, amazing! But also, we have different age groups, we have different styles, we have different ways that we see things. And so everybody's artwork is different. It has different levels and different colors and lines and shapes. So everything is right, nothing is wrong, and what you produce is beautiful. Thank you so much, Becca, for joining us! Thank you to you, Sam and Artie and Dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. She knows my name. She does. She, she knows my name. She does. You remember you're a quite a famous art critic. Remember? Yes, yes. yes. Everyone of knows you. Of course, yes. Of course. Oh, it's all right. There we go. He just gets really excited when he, he sees beautiful art. That I do, and your art is one of the best I've ever seen. Wow. Mm. That's saying something. Okay, well, we're going to move on to our next adventure, which is showing you how to doodle again. So in case the first video was a bit quick and you didn't get a chance to finish coloring in or finish filling out the lines or drawing your circles, we're going to show it one more time to help you. Bye, Artie! That was so much fun. I love it when Artie comes to visit. He just lights up my soul with his enthusiasm and excitement. I absolutely love it. And I wish we could have shown all of the, of the beautiful rhinos that came to us, but we only have a little bit of time. So we had to randomly select some of them, but all of them were really, really beautiful. So thank you so much. Now we're going to go back to doodling with shapes and the dude. <laughs>
dude. You're just so cool. Thanks, man. Thank you for helping me with my artwork earlier, man. I feel pretty good about drawing now. And that Rebecca girl. Isn't wow. she wonderful? She has a great outlook on life. She really does. And I'm sure all of our children watching the show have a positive outlook on life. And when things are a little bit rocky, we find out how to dance to that. So tell me, what did you learn today? Well, I learned that uh, Chase says, hey. Hey, Chase. <laughs> hey, Chase. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. And thanks, Roxy. Uh, apparently, you love the show. Amazing. We love you back, dude. Oh, but what did I actually learn? What did I take away? What did you take away from today? Passing my uh, drawing. I learned that if you draw a sad thing, sometimes all you need to do is change your mind. And then it becomes something totally different. Exactly. You I, have the power. I also learned that you get two kinds of rhinos in Africa. A black one and a white one. And they have different shaped mouths. But they're actually gray in color. I also learned that the Mona Lisa doesn't have bangs. She doesn't, but she doesn't have a smile either. Or does or she? Or does she? Mysterious. Mysterious. What did you learn? Well, I learned that if we all in it together and we all get on top of things and do our fun, exciting doodles. Our very best. Our very best. Then we can do anything. It doesn't matter how difficult things are. And sometimes it's important for us to help a friend. So when someone's not feeling too good, try and help them. Lend them a helping hand or turn their frown upside down. So Beautiful. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We hope you enjoyed your time. We hope you, you learned something, as well as those beautiful doodles that you've drawn, your rhinos. If you'd like to send them in to us, you can. And who knows, maybe next week, Artie the Artbark will come and visit, and he'll crit your story too. Dude, Dude, this really is a school of positivity. Woo! See you next Sunday. So Nathan, that was a great show and uh, very well done. And uh, I think uh, people from across uh, uh, the world and especially kids, they're watching your show. And uh, hats off to you. Very well done and very well done. Yeah. And this, is, this is done by my my daughter. Yay! Wow, great job. That's beautiful. Did it help? You can see she did exactly the shapes. She's yeah. pretty good. That's beautiful. Thanks, Ankit. What's your daughter's name? Uh, her name is Amishi. 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 She's four yeah. years old. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, Amishi. Great drawing. Keep doodling. Yeah, dude. we love yeah. you. Yeah. Awesome. So, so I know that we had a whole lot of technical, we don't know. And that's a part of that's a part of thing. I mean, people understand. Uh, I mean, whenever you do online, it's there is there is always a problem, but. It's just that they also understand that we are real and we are not scripting anything. And it's more about how we do real things at real time. And then it's a live show. In live yeah. show, these kind of things happen, I mean. And we overcome over a period of time, I mean. Whenever but we do it, uh, we overcome a period of time. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. We love being here. Hey, hey Amishi! So lovely hey, to meet you. I love your rhino. Thank you. You're almost so beautiful. My dino is the pinkest. Pardon me? Oh, so good. So beautiful. So good. Is it a girl or a boy? Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. Bye bye. Bye-bye. She better join us next time. She can show her artwork to all of us. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah.
So how was the experience uh, doing the show? Um, it's just because we were trying to figure out the technical side. We were we actually had so much fun. It made us laugh. Don't worry about that. <laughs> But I'll tell you, I mean, Nathan is Nathan is not looking like Nathan. He's looking like a, a twin of Nathan. It's looking like a, a, a twin brother. <laughs> like like a twin brother. A twin brother. Yeah. Of who? Oh, of Nathan, dude. Yeah. So Nathan not dude is not, uh, not not the way he generally looks like. So he's having a different. Uh, Different, different vibe. Yeah, I'm a totally story. individual person. I have different likes and dislikes to Nathan. Uh, I really enjoy surfing and just looking at leaves on trees. <laughs> the best, best sidekick ever. <laughs> great, great, great. So thank you and uh, thanks for the show and it was lovely and uh, we'll see you on Sunday. And in between, whenever you have time, you can pop in and we can uh, talk about the show. And also, sure. we'll, we'll figure out the technical difficulties. And it was a lovely show. Thank, thank you, you for joining. Thank it you. was so much fun for us. Thank you for having us. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Very well done. Thank you. Bye. Bye.